Beats one. What a chance this could be for us. Here's Haaland. Shoots and scores. Wow. Erling Braut Haaland, just as he did in real life. Bruno Tavares and now David Brooks. This could lead to something. Here goes David Brooks. Big chance here for him. Can David Brooks score? Oh, Brooks, what a finish. Near post. Oh, my God. The class to pull that off from David. The previous episode of this Leeds career mode was truly something special as we knocked out PSG, that's right, PSG from the Champions League and we're now through to the quarterfinals of this competition and I genuinely can't wait to find out who we'll be up against. The dream in the Champions League continues. And it's not just the Champions League we're fighting for, the Premier League is at stake as well, which is one point off Chelsea. We're going to have a grandstand finish to this season, that is for sure, with both the Premier League and the Champions League at play. Let's hope we can wrap up this series in style. As you guys know, Season 3 is going to be the final season of this career mode, and I want to bag some silverware. I mean, it really is going to be a big episode today. Champions League quarterfinals, Premier League football, and to top it all off, I'm going to be announcing my first career mode for FIFA 21, so stay tuned for that. If you guys are enjoying the career mode content on the channel, drop like on the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. Appreciate it. Subscribe if you are new around here. We're getting so close now to 200,000 subscribers. I hope we can get there soon enough. Let's get into a press conference now. Okay, so first question of the day. Give Augustine a better number because he's been the main man since the start of this series. You are not wrong. Augustine probably does deserve like a number 9 or number 11 or a number 7. But honestly, number 29 has kind of become his trademark. Kind of like how 14 is a trademark for Cruyff and Balotelli has his own number and it, it just feels that way. I think taking away number 29, which has been so special in this series with Augustine, just feels wrong. It's been looking fantastic on his kit and he's scoring goals. So I'm not too keen on replacing that kit number. It's kind of become iconic, you know, number 29 Augustine in this series. So we're going to keep it that way. 18 goals and 8 assists so far for him in 28 games. Let's hope he can keep that up. Next up, what are your thoughts on the FIFA 21 ratings, which is kind of fair and unfair. Now, I do like the fact that Leo Messi is the highest rated player in the game. Lewandowski got a much deserved upgrade. But apart from that, some of the stuff is really dodgy. A lot of players getting pace downgrades for no apparent reason. Sancho getting a big pace downgrade. I don't know why, because it makes no sense. Nabri as well. And on the other hand, players like Thiago getting like a downgrade for being literally the best midfielder on the planet last year. It's it's alongside maybe KDB, so I can't exclude him there. But yeah, it's it's really dodgy, the ratings, man. And I'm, I'm surprised. But honestly, what I feel is that this is a marketing stunt from EA, where they're just trying to get everyone talking about it. And it just, you know, gives bad PR or good PR, whatever you want to call it. But it just gets people talking about FIFA 21. And yeah, it, it's just a publicity stunt, in my opinion. And it's worked, you know, everybody is talking about the ratings because of it. So I think that's what it really is about. But yeah, we really shouldn't care too much about the ratings because, of course, in Kuremo, they'll go up and down as you go through. So it doesn't really matter all that much, at least for me. With that, let's move on. Okay, now it's time for the big announcement. What team are you going to do a career mode in FIFA 21? Now, I'm sure this is the worst kept secret in the world. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know which career mode I'm going to be doing first. If you have seen a few of my previous videos, I've definitely hinted at it before. But here's the official announcement, guys. Barcelona career mode coming October 1st, as soon as FIFA 20 releases through early access. And I absolutely can't wait for it. I'm glad Messi is staying so we can do like a last dance with Messi at Barcelona. So I'm absolutely gassed. I'm working on a lot of cool graphics and all that for the series as well. More elements. So it's going to be absolutely incredible. Hopefully my best career mode I've done on the channel. The Barca career mode is tradition here. Yeah. We've done it as the first career mode for the year for pretty much last three years now. And we're going to keep that tradition alive. So hopefully you guys are excited for it. But yeah. That is the plan. There you go. Official announcement out of the way. If you don't follow me on Twitter and all, you now know Barcelona career mode is coming to the channel very soon. With that press conference done, let's move on. Now, last episode, I accidentally left out Berkey as one of the nominees for player of the episode. And I do regret it because he was outstanding. If there's one reason we made it out of that PSG tie, it's Berkey. The amount of saves he made towards the end of those games, it was nuts. And deservedly so, thanks to you guys, he picks up the Player of the Episode award. So we start off the episode with some FA Cup action. It's the quarterfinals, I think, and we've kind of got a super lucky draw against Southampton. 
Gonna use the second team here, simulate this game and get it out of the way and I'm hoping we can still win. Here we go, Leeds versus Southampton in the FA Cup. Can we get the job done? We can. A red card for Nketiah is a bit dodgy but Brooks comes on and scores lovely we've got a big premier league game now ahead of us as we take on man united at ellen road remember a few episodes ago at old trafford we got the better of man united we need to do that again here because chelsea are flying right now in the premier league they're four points ahead of us yes they've played a game more than us but we can't afford to drop points so we've got to keep pace with chelsea at this moment of time so Getting a result against Man United who are fourth in the league is massive. Our games in this series against Man United have always been epic and I'm anticipating another one of those kind of games because I'm sure they don't want to see Leeds win the Premier League but if we can beat them here, that'll give us good momentum. Of course, it's a real shame that Ben White picked up that injury and he won't be available for this game and the rest of the season but apart from that, the team is looking solid. I am so glad we brought in Robin Koch and even Eric Garcia for that matter. The squad depth has proven to be vital. But this is how I've got my team set up. In fact, risky move, but I want to play Adama Traore in this one because I feel like having that extra factor down the wings will be helpful. He was superb against City. Let's reward him for that performance. Play him here. Let's hope he can really put a dominant performance. Leeds United, let's get it. Man United in this series do have a really good team. In season 3 of this career mode, Rashford, Martial, Bruno all must be super high rated. McTominay in that midfield. Their backline does lack a bit of pace, but one Bissaka does make up for it. That's a good United team. I just realised that we're currently in contention for the FA Cup, the Premier League and the Champions League. Could we pull off a treble with Leeds? Can you imagine the scenes? That would be the perfect way to send off. FIFA 20 and we'll see if we can do that but here's Adama already an early chance against of course Man United what a turn from Augustine cut back for Brooks we could get an early goal here oh my god under six minutes pretty much five minutes actually we've taken the lead and who else but David Brooks what a run of play from Leeds United here Adama on the wings was superb but that turn from Augustine was just saucy man and the cut back to Brooks oh you love to see it man what a goal from of course Leeds I mean that turn sends Sula flying. And also, such a cool, calm, collected finish from Brooks. We got the early lead, exactly what we needed. Let's push on from here and show United that we intend to win the title this season. Oh, problems. Yes, Man United try to get the equaliser. Luis Felipe, right place, right time, clays the danger away. Man United certainly have the quality to mount a comeback in this one. We've got to be really careful of what happens here. Matic going for goal. It's Nemanja Matic, man. Since when does he have that in his locker? I know he's got a powerful shot on him, but a curling effort like that? There's nothing you can do about it, man. When goals like this happen, you've just got to put your controller down and just get on with it, I guess. Fair enough, Man United. They've responded incredibly well at Ellen Road. They've got themselves the equaliser. Take a look at that for a strike, though. Like, what are you supposed to do about it? It was... Top bins, no chance for Berkey whatsoever. Anthony Martial, now McTominay back to Martial. Looks inside for Bruno. We're going to concede another one. Oh my god. Absolutely dreadful defending from us, man. It was such a good advantage to have taking the lead. We've just blown it away. What kind of defending was that from us? Absolutely awful. Looks for Augustine. Now I'm spreading this wide for Adama Traud, who's been very influential in this game. Adama. Looks inside for Brooks, on the turn, he's opened space up. How? How has David De Gea saved that? That was our chance to get the equaliser, oh my days. Sees Calvin Phillips. Looks for Brooks, brilliantly done. David Brooks, oh my god, he is just too good. David Brooks is just phenomenal. The dribbling there and also the composure to take that shot with his left foot. He's something special, honestly. He is just truly something special. Have a look at this for an assist from Phillips, but oh, the touch from Brooks, he has sent Sula packing again. Unbelievable scenes, man. Look at that for a finish. No chance for De Gea. We're back in it, boys. It's 2 all. It's the David Brooks show. Problems here for us as Pizzi is broken through. We need a good challenge coming in. We can't get that good challenge. Pizzi with a chance. Berkey with a save. Man, United have given us a tough fight. They want to win the title as well. As you guys know, they're involved in the title race, so they're giving it everything. This is literally a battle for the title. His PZ could look for a cutback or something. Tavares this well. What on earth is that? Berkey, what? What's Berkey just done there? I cannot believe this, guys. I absolutely can't. Berkey, you just had to collect the freaking ball, man, you moron. Look at this, guys. What's he done there? What an absolute... Oh, I don't even want to... Oh, man, what do I even say here? 
What a joke. He single-handedly cost us the title potentially there. My good lord. This first half has been just unbelievable. To end it off like that, oh man, this, this, this hurts. Because that was completely out of my control. Phillips looks for Haaland now. A bit of space here for him to work with. Still Haaland could go for goal. How is that challenge come in there? But Augustine might have a chance. Let's go boys. We get the equaliser once again in this game. It is now 3 all with Augustine scoring the crucial goal. For a moment I thought Haaland was going to score for me. But I'm glad it's now Augustine. 3 all Game freaking on. We conceded such an undeserved goal. But I'm glad we've recovered. Big goal there from Augustine. Calvin Phillips sees Thiago and now it's Haaland. Look at the space here for Tavares. Go on. Tavares could do something here. Cut back inside now. Lindelof, man. He read that one well. All right. We can find Adama here. What can he do? Adama. Looks inside for Robin Koch. Oh, goes down inside the box. Penalty for us. This could be a penalty that decides the title or at least puts us back in the race. Lindelof gets booked. I was going to complain why on earth does that ball go to Robin Koch, but... Okay, I'll take it. It's Lindelof committing the challenge and now big moment in the game. You know what? I'm going to give it to Brooks on a hat trick. He scores here. He gets that hat trick. I'm just going to try and put it top left corner. If this goes in, it'll be unbelievable. It does go into here. doesn't move. David Brooks has just scored a hat trick against Manchester United. Unbelievable scenes. 4-3 now. What a turnaround. It's been one of the classics in the Premier League for us. Let's go, guys. We could go just one point behind Chelsea after this result. Marcus Rashford. Oh, looks for the cutback. No, 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 man. No. Literally moments after uh, scoring. What a joke. This game is a joke, man. Like, how? How does this happen always? You, you score a goal literally moments later. Your opponent gets like a superhuman boost and they just score. What a freaking joke. 4-4. Four, four. I hate this. I genuinely hate this. Full time, and this is one of the most undeserved draws I've ever seen. We deserve to win this game. You guys saw what the Berkey did there for us? What a joke. What a joke. This could really cost us in the long term for the title race. And I hate it. I do. Our team showed incredible character against all circumstances to score goal after goal. It's just bad luck that what just happened here. I'm, I'm gutted. Simulating this one against Fulham who've lost their last three games in the Prem and we do pick up a 1-0 win which is awesome to see for some reason their players aren't even showing up here. How have we gone down to fourth spot in an instance? We were second a point off Chelsea now we're four points off them but they have played a game more than us. It's too close right now. It is too close to call at the moment like the Premier League this season has been just nuts. I don't know who's going to win it. It's going to be that tight. For now though, time to focus on the Champions League. The draw for the quarterfinals has been made. And we will be up against Chelsea. Okay. You know what? I'll take that. We've got a lot of experience of playing them over the course of the last few seasons. And we've beaten them on a handful of occasions. So we can get it done. We actually might just be able to get it done. If we've knocked out PSG, we can get it done against Chelsea as well. It's not going to be easy. Don't get me wrong. But... It's possible. Inter, Juve, Liverpool, Leipzig, City, Madrid, the other games. The focus is on this one. And guess what? We're now going to be playing Chelsea at Elland Road. I really can't overstate the importance of this game against Chelsea. A strong result in the first leg could prove to be vital. Now, of course, no Ben White. So, Eric Garcia comes into the lineup for this one. I'm hoping we can get it done, man. I'm so nervous for this. Serginho Dest is playing because I want to keep my team in shape. Adam, as good as he is. In this kind of game, I want Dest, you know, a bit more of a defensive approach. Up top, though, Haaland, who's now 87, Augustine Brooks, all of them start. Let's keep our dream run in the Champions League going. If I'm being honest, this Chelsea team does look beatable. That attack does have weaknesses, I feel. The midfield also. The defense, though, with Varane is incredible. Marcus Alonso, though, can be hit at. Kepa in goal as well. I think we're the favorites here. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I think we are the favorites in this tie. I know Chelsea are above us in the Premier League, but just on paper, Haaland and all the plays we've got, I think we've we've got to get this done. We just got to remember, we're facing Chelsea. We've beaten them many times before. It's just that it's a different competition. I, I think we can do it. We've got to believe. We've really got to believe. And we can keep the dream going in the Champions League. He doesn't have options. He does have options in Augustine. Now it is David Brooks. Got space to maybe go for goal from there. Kepa had that one covered, but good early intent from us. Calvin Phillips sees Haaland on the turn. Big moment for Erling Braut Haaland. How is Kepa saved that? What? No way. 
Haaland 1v1 can't score from there. I, can't, I just can't believe it, man. I really can't. Big chance in this game gone. Honestly, so far it's been all leads. We're moving the ball around really quickly and patiently as well. Brooks looks now for Thiago. Sees Haaland with a nice pass. He tries to beat his man. Earns us a free kick at the edge of the box. This is where I would have loved to have Hamas, but we don't have him. We've got improvised. Thiago right now is the best free kick taker at the club. And if he can put this one in, it'll be unbelievable. But can he do it? That's the real question. Thiago off the bar. No way. This game has been nuts. We've had two clear-cut chances to make it 1-0. And bad luck on both. Unreal scenes. Augustine now. First pass Varane, still Augustine, can't get the shot off, tackled from behind, deservedly so, earns us a penalty. Marcus Alonso with the stupidest challenge ever, and now we've got a chance to make it 1-0. This is a big penalty in the Champions League. I'm trusting Haaland for this one, he has missed a few penalties for me before, but if he can put this one in, that'll be unbelievable. Haaland, off the crossbar, no, 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 no in the Champions League, not like this. Three big chances and we've bottled and squandered all of them and I've got only myself to blame. Oh, Brooks, we could get revenge here. We could finally get the goal we deserve. That's four chances we've completely squandered within 30 minutes. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing? We're throwing away the Champions League. That is clearly my reaction right now. Good Lord. Kovacic with pace. Chance for Chelsea, still Matteo Kovacic, still Kovacic looking to scoop this one in, Tavares with the worst header ever, but it's enough to get the ball away. Back to Augustine, Haaland once again, the duo are linking up well, I see Brooks, back now to Haaland here. He's going back to Thiago, could look for a pass for Augustine, big chance here, Augustine shoots, Kepa with another big save. Are you kidding me man, we could be 3-0 or 4-0 up in this one, yet it's 0-0. Corner, we're taking it smartly, inside to Foyt. It is now Brooks, tries to turn, still Brooks, scores for goal. Kepa with this save, nothing seems to be working out well for me right now. Looks for Haaland here, gets past Marcus Alonso, could do nothing to stop Haaland. Still Haaland, this has to be the goal, and we finally get the goal we so deserve. Erling Braut Haaland, 42nd minute of the game, opens up the account for us here, and Leeds take the lead against Chelsea. Honestly, I don't know whether to feel happy or not, because this is our first goal of the game, but it really should be our sixth, because... That's how good we've been here against Chelsea. We've been utterly dominant. They've barely done anything against us. Yet, it's, it's, it's only 1-0. But we got to push on from here. we got to show that we, we're ready for this. Come on, boys. We can get it done. Halftime against Chelsea. And honestly, I'm still struggling to figure out how this game is still, of course, a 1-0. The amount of chances we've squandered. You just know they're going to come back and haunt us. Hopefully not, though. Second half, I want more. Because Chelsea look pretty average. Kovacic goes for goal and wow, this is the second time in the episode we've conceded a goal like this. The first one was from Nemanja Matic and now it's Kovacic. This is, I'm not kidding you, the first chance Chelsea have had. First shot on target and it's in. This is the kind of bad luck I'm dealing with today, man. It, it is just not working out for me. Against United, we played such good football. We scored four, yet the amount of bullshit we endured, it was nuts and it looks like it's going to happen here again. It's 1-1. Chelsea now get the away goal. Here goes Nuno Tavares though. Immediately after conceding, can we for once get the luck in our favour? Tavares still keeps hold of the ball. Tries to find Brooks but can't. They read that well. Christian Pulisic. Oh my god, how is he so quick? Still Pulisic. We need a challenge coming and Eric Garcia saves the day. Man, Chelsea in the second half look like a different team. Tavares now sees Haaland and here we go. Erling Braut Haaland, can he score from this distance off the post? Rebound though. Let's go boys. Thiago, right place, right time. And even after getting the bad luck of hitting the woodwork, the rebound falls right in our favour. And it's Thiago, man of the match in the Champions League in real life for Bayern. He comes up super clutch for us as we take the lead against Chelsea. Deservedly so. Tell you what, that was a difficult finish for Thiago to pull off. I know the keeper was off his line, but for him to place him that way, for Kante to be in the middle and for him to still pull it off was crazy. And there you go, Thiago scoring the big goal for us. Leeds lead 2-1. And that's full time. First leg against Chelsea, we end off with a 2-1 win. Honestly, how is this not 5-1 or 6-1? I have no idea, but it is what it is. We were so wasteful, but I'm still glad we walk away with some sort of an advantage before the trip to Stamford Bridge. But there you go. Leeds have managed to beat Chelsea 2-1.
Is this win big enough? We need to be at our best second leg because 2-1 here means I think Chelsea win 1-0 and we're out of the Champions League. We really are gonna hate the fact that we missed all those chances, I'm gonna be honest. So I'm not gonna be playing any more games in today's episode. We're gonna leave it as is and continue on in the next one because my luck's just not and I don't want to be playing the next few games, especially in the Premier League end up drawing them or something and losing the title so we're gonna keep these games for the next episode we'll probably try and wrap up the entire month of april in the next month excluding the semi-finals if we get there in the champions league but yeah man the business end of the season with leeds is gonna be epic because there's so much going on now since we did beat chelsea in this episode we've made a bit of progress with the among the best challenge Haaland did score one goal so not all bad since this is the last season, our objectives don't really matter all that much, but I still want to complete some of them. Player of the episode, honestly, only one player can be nominated and it's David Brooks, so expect to see him pick up the award in the next episode. A hat-trick against Man United, of course he's going to be picking up the award. But with that guys, we're wrapping up today's episode of the Leeds career mode. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and if you guys did, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here and well, I'll catch you all next time. The drama continues in the Leeds career mode.